we are going to do this now. Ha! Huh. There's one a little one. All right, so these pins, they always, the bump end, the end of it goes up towards this. This always goes to the left. When you're on the other side, this is flipped. And this always goes to the left. Just remember this, the, this little wheel always goes to the left. We're going to take that off. First thing we're going to do is pull this one off. And that comes off. And then pull this. Or this one, either one of them. Whatever one you can grab a hold of. This is the hard part, grabbing hold of the spring. So what you can do is take a screwdriver in here like that and you force it out. Or you can just use a screwdriver to pop it out. Just like that. And you pull this out and this goes on the top. Well, the top of here, bottom of the other one. And then you're going to pull this apart. Just a little bit. Just basically, oh, good Lord. These are stuck. All right, so I'm going to force this up. And we're going to pull this apart. This is nice and smooth, which is good. We're going to put a little grease on it, but this is smooth. Nothing seized up. If this is seized up, you got to get a new one. Or I guess you could play with it and get it unseized. Now, this, what I want to do is go take this, beat it out. You're going to get to this. I'm just gonna use this and you pop that out. And then you're gonna reach over the other side, do the same thing. Just gonna pop it up and out. Up and out. And then these little pins go through the back. Uh, make sure you got them. Little pins go through the back. You don't really need to clean them up, but it's up to you. You can buy new hardware. All right, now, here's how you take these off. What you want to do is grab this, and you're going to pull. This side right here is hooked up to the cable. So you want to take this side right here and you want to pull. Once you pull it, it'll come off. Then you get this spring. Now you're going to have to remember, but this spring goes in like this. The big side is out on the outside, small side's on the inside. This goes to the side with the, the brake uh, cable on it. This side goes to the opposite side. And there's a reason why. Alright. But the curved part is the bottom of this. You want this in the curved spot. So that's how that works. So you take this and put it off to the side. And then you pop this off. And then you go pop this spring off. Now the easiest way to pull this spring off is you twist it till it's almost like that. Oh, come on. Right there. Yeah, there we go. And on this one, it should be right there. So basically, you're going to line up that spring on the inside right there to that hole. Mine's a little bit rusty, so the spring doesn't want to come out. So just 
take it a little bit like this and pop it out. And that spring goes on the calipers that's down here. Now, look at it. This is why I'm replacing it. See this? See how stiff that is? It should not be stiff. All right. What you want to see how this, where this is sitting right now. See how this spring spring goes over this and it sits right there and it holds that shut. What you want to do is pop that spring off. You're going to bring it around, leave it like that. And then you're going to push in and then uh, that opens that little, that little connector right there. And then once you get out of there, once you get that pushed in, then the piece should go right through the hole. This is why I'm replacing this. This should not be like this. You need to replace these. Even though it's got good padding on it because it hasn't been used, you have separation right there in the pads. You have rust going on. This is hard. This should not be hard to move. This joint right here, this mechanism, is all rusted up. It needs to be removed and and uh, greased up. And it's starting to separate right there. And it's starting to come apart right there. And this is not very big, but this is a Land Rover part. So this has probably been on the truck the whole time this truck has been driving. So you're looking at a 180,000 miles because that's what my truck's got on it, 180,000 miles. So throw that off to the side. Now, this. When you get this, this is a... ATE rear brake when you get this make sure this spring is up there above this I don't know why they do this I don't know what the reason behind it is but you need the allen wrench let's see if I can find the allen wrench that opens this is a I think it's a number four four millimeter what you want to do is crack this open when you first get it crack it open all right now watch when you crack it open that releases the tension right here and this is supposed to come forward but right now it can't come forward so you need to make sure this spring is above this. So now it's loose. No, it's not loose. And now it's loose. And that metal bar is supposed to come forward. But it, it doesn't. And they didn't do this right. That or we're supposed to do it on our own. And they don't tell us. But it's supposed to go down like that. See? When you go to, to set this up, when you go to set this up, you're supposed to loosen this up. And then you beat on everything. And then this has pressure on it. And it'll go forward. Which will actually it'll come outward. Because of the V shape, it'll come outward. And it pushes on this bar. And it separates the brake pads a little bit more and it helps out on the wear but before you get started take this spring go all the way up to the top so what I do is I push it all the way up to the top it's a little harder to do when you're sitting here doing it and trying to show the camera but you want to get it all the way up to the top with the spring on it and then you want to get 
Let me see if I can do it and I'll show you. And then you want to tighten this back up. I think they do it to keep the spring. See how it's sitting there? It's, well, it's coming out. So what I'm going to do is do this again. All right, so we push this as far as up as we can. Up as we can and we lock it. But essentially that sits up against there and it has teeth. And this is what you're locking. Now later on when we go to adjust the thing, you're going to pop this open. And it's going to move and then you're going to lock it back in place. That takes up the slack that this creates. So now this goes like this. Actually, no. This goes like this. Now you take the other one. See how easy that moves? That's how it's supposed to be. Make sure it's able to move like this. So now we're gonna take this and you're gonna force this up through the hole. Well, I say force, but just gonna slide it up through the hole. This one just doesn't work hard enough. There we go. And now you pull it back and that holds onto that. Now you take this and it goes up there like that. See how it crosses that? That's how you want it to sit. That spring holds everything tight and it keeps it from going back in. And then that folds up like that. This part goes down because this is where this is where this goes in right there and I want to show you all off of it this is how you do it this is how it sits in there at the bottom you want to, this goes goes downward and if you're doing it on the top it's pretty much the same thing but on the when you're doing the other side it's pretty much everything is rotated halfway so Here's where the hard part comes in. So you're gonna take this. Before you get started, you want it to clean up these edges. You can either take a file. Pick. And you want to clean up the little, little block down here. That's about it. And then you're going to take anti-seize. Whatever anti-seize you got, you put it right there, right there. You don't want your brakes to seize up through these little pins. Now this is where you have to be careful. Or you're going to make a mess. When you put anti-seize on something. It gets all over everything. Alright. So that's all I put on there. And now. We're going to take this. And we're going to take one of these pins. Put it through there, and it should go through this hole right here. Let 
Go through that hole right there. And then we're going to take this clip. And I'm going to show you how I put these clips on real easy. But I don't know if I can do it with you sitting there. All right. So you put your clip on like this. Like that. And then you're going to force this bottom up. So you can use like a, a pry bar and just pry it like that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it the wrong way. All right, you hold it on the other end, put it like that, and you force it down, and you force it like that. And then you take this. And boom, you got it. So all you do is put it in there, catch it like that, put this up where it should be, and you bend it down like that, and you take. And it goes in and now you feed that back up like that and that's how it sits you gotta put this back on now you're gonna take this one Okay, I got you on this side because everything's going to happen on this side. Spring goes on. The bent part goes under. On the other side, it'll bow upward. Spring goes on this side. And the, the big side goes on the outside. And then you're going to feed the first one. Through. And clip it on the other side. Let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, let's see if you can, guys can actually see it or not. This little metal thing is clipping right. See that? Back it up. It's clipping right in there. Right in there, just like that. All right, now. Come back over on this side. You have this sticking out. What I'm going to do, you have the, you put the spring on there. And this is where it gets kind of tough to show you what's going on. Because you kind of need to be out of the way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out on this. Catch it on this. And put this in that little hole right there. All in one shot when I do this. I may actually need to be over there where you're at. All right, let's make sure this is where it's supposed to be. That is and that. Okay, that's where it's supposed to be. Now you lift that out. All right, so we're in there now. What you want to do is you got to move this up a little higher. That goes up a little higher. And then that goes back. Yep, that's, that's where it should be. Now this is going to go 
got to be careful here you're going to pinch your fingers okay this needs to go in all right so now take this little pin force it through the hole and we're going to put this pin on remember the pin has to go downward pin goes through just like that and then you're going to take this and you're going to hold it like that and you're going to push down on it until that one side grabs it you push back through push this all the way back and you're going to grab it and once you grab it once you grab that and then it's just a matter of taking something here and forcing it down in there like that and then once you get that you shove it back and then you tap it a couple times up against and always remember the bubble part goes towards this just remember to this the bow the bowing end goes to this it always goes towards it even on the other side when it's flipped upside down you want to go down into it all right so there we go now let's put the rest of it together first thing i'm going to do is there's no oil in there, but I'm going to put something in it. I'm going to put a little grease in it. A little grease just like this. I'm going to put a little grease right in there. Just caliber grease. Yes, you're going to tell me, hey, you don't need to do that. But you see how messed up these threads are? I'm going to put a little bit right here. Put a little bit right there. And then I'm going to screw it back in. And that's the way it'll go. Alright. This is going to go into the little holes. And it's going to go into the hole with the other one. There we go. And it's in the hole. Now we do the spring. This is the spring. Put the one spring in. And then you're going to need needle nose pliers. You're going to grab the needle nose like this. And you're going to pull on it. So you can get that spring in once you get it partly in and just slide it in and then you can just slide it the rest of the way in all right now it's in now this freely spins Maybe not. When you go like that, you make that, that noise. So the first thing is you want to make it as tight as you can. So that makes it as close together as you can. All right, now we're putting it together. So this wheel goes up to this dip, and then this dip lines up with that. I'm gonna put a little bit of anti-seize. 
on the thread and we're going to put it in there get that started That's torqued enough. Oh, it is. That little dimple's exactly where this is. Okay, now I can't move it. All right, now I'm gonna go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Eight turns. I should be able to turn it now. All right, so we turn over to this one. All right, so we need to go up just a little bit. All right, in there, you guys should be able to see there's a bolt there I can see it right there that's that little nut we need to that right there is that little nut right here we need to loosen that's right there so now I got the eight set and we're going to Get the Allen wrench out. Now we're in. Now I need some kind of leverage. I need a little bit of leverage. Loosen. Loosen. That's about all I need to loosen. Now I'm going to untighten it. need to go back in and retighten it I think it's like six pounds per square inch or six Newton pounds or something like that that is good and now I put my cap back on now I get back to the regular brake regular brake job now I'm going to try to do this. This is supposed to turn on the automatic uh, brake. I don't know what it's called. So you can test it out. Uh, I think you have to turn it back on. So it's to hit the brakes three times and you pull up, up on it four times and then you push down on it three times. So, turn it off, turn it back on, let it get, get your lights off. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now you get 
EPB service mode up on the deck. That little square there, that's EP service mode. Okay, now, what you got to do, okay, I'm still in it. Oh, what you got to do is you put it in drive, and you need to get up to 19 miles an hour. So you need to get up to basically 20 miles an hour. I'm going to have to turn around here. All right, and you get up to 20 miles an hour. I'm not going to do it this time. All right, here we go. Twenty miles an hour, and then pull up on and hold it, and you'll slow down. That's one. Now you got to do that ten times. All you're doing is getting up to twenty miles an hour, and you're pulling up on the emergency brake, and you're holding that brake until you stop. But you got to get up to twenty miles an hour to do it. And your bra par parking brakes will do that. I'm not pu pushing on the brakes at all. So the emergency brake is what's what's triggering. All right, here we go. Up to 20. Pull it. And that stops. And we go again. So there's, what, three? Four. And we'll do it one more time. And then I'm gonna show you what comes up on the screen. See right here, see what it says on the dash? The EP service mode. That's what's on. And the little thing's flashing over on the right. Now you can turn this off in two different ways. You can turn off the engine and start and restart the engine, or you can just drive above 30 miles an hour and you get it too. So let's go down the road and I'll show you after 30 miles an hour. That, that light goes off let me go around let me show you right here oh it gets going watch my dash 30 miles an hour and now it goes off now you're out of that mode now and everything's good back to normal